everyone, I'm Alkali, Community Manager at Hearthstone with another edition of Hearthside Chats. Today we're going to introduce our newest expansion, Murder at Castle Nathria. And what's a great murder mystery without suspects, locations, alibis, and clues? We're going to solve the mystery at Castle Nathria by introducing a new keyword, Infuse, and a brand new card type called Locations and unlock the mysterious Covenant spells. I'm here with some members of our design team. Hi everybody, my name's Cora Georgiou and I was the initial design set lead for Murder at Castle Nathria. Hey everyone, I'm Edward Goodwin. I was one of the final designers for this expansion. Hi there, I'm Valerie Chu. I'm lead narrative designer and we're delighted to have you here today. In our newest expansion, Hearthstone Journeys to the Shadowlands, as we encounter the murder of Sire Denathrius at Castle Nathria. It is a murder most foul. And Valerie, tell me, how could this happen? Ah, uh, well, Sire Denathrius has ruled the realm of Revendreth with an iron fist since the very beginning. So he's made quite a few enemies. These suspects come from all over the Shadowlands, which have been afflicted by some terrible circumstances lately. The main source of energy for the Shadowlands is called Anima. It's like this life essence, and it's in very short supply. They called an Anima drought. So there are many, many different motives for all of these different suspects. But luckily, we have the inimitable Murloc Holmes on the case to use his cunning wit and powers of deduction to figure out what has truly occurred. Murder at Castle Nathria introduces a brand new keyword called Infuse, and I've heard that there are a lot more imps in this expansion, so tell me why this new keyword is so important, Cora. Here we go! Well, you've heard correct. There are certainly going to be some imps in this set, and Mischievous Imp is just the first one. Uh, Warlock is no stranger to playing with imps, but usually it's just because imps are demons and Warlock synergize with demon minions. But in this set, we are specifically calling out imps, so be on the lookout for some more cards that do that in the text box. But Mischievous Imp is just the first example of our Infuse keyword that we're showing off today. And Infuse is really wonderful for two reasons. Uh, first being, it tells a story. So these cards will upgrade in your hand after a certain number of friendly minions die on your board, and that's because they're soaking up the anima of their fallen brethren, um, and it's empowering them in hand. So they're going to power up, they're going to transform into upgraded versions of themselves, and they're also going to get a new art piece, which is going to show you know, how the anima is affecting these cards in your hand, which is really cool, because it lets us tell a story. And the second reason why Infuse is a great keyword for this set is because it incentivizes the gameplay that we want to see. Uh, we've been talking across this whole year so far about how we want to bring Hearthstone sort of back to its core gameplay of board-based combat um, and minion-centric combat. And Infuse incentivizes you to go wide on board, play lots of minions, and then your future turns are going to be so much more powerful because you're going to have all of these Infused cards in your hand. So Anima was a big win for us because we felt it really ticked both of those boxes. So team, I think we're really starting to see how this mystery is going to unfold because we just had a henchman with Mischievous Imp and all we really need of course is an adorable sidekick and we've got that with Stonebound Gargan. It's a beast with Rush. But when it's fully infused, it'll damage adjacent minions, which is super cool. Every great murder mystery has a ton of different elements to it, one of which is a convincing disguise for one of our suspects. Convincing disguise will transform one of your friendly minions into a minion that costs you more. But when it's fully infused, it'll transform your entire board into minions that cost you more. It plays really well with some of the Evolve cards that we announce in our announced video. But while we're here, I think there's more to talk about with convincing disguise. You might notice that it features Brukan, one of our mercenaries from last year, who sacrificed himself to save his fellow mercenaries in the raid on Anixia's lair. I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of well-known characters from Hearthstone's past show up in the afterlife in the Shadowlands. So, so far we've seen a henchman, a disguise, and of course our adorable sidekick. But what we don't have yet is our location. And Castle Nathria is such a great setting because there's so many places to well, commit a crime. We could go to the Sanguine Depths, the Muck Pools, or I think the Vile Library is pretty great. What do you think, Cora? 
I think it's pretty impressive. And we've certainly got a lot of imps that are being very mischievous in the Vile Library. Uh, the Vile Library is the Warlock class location. And if you have a lot of imps on your board, you're going to be able to buff one of those imps uh, with the use of the Vile Library's activatable ability. Uh, and it's important for me to call out here that locations are a brand new card type. Locations are not minions, but you do play them into the battlefield. They do not have attack or health values. Instead, they have durability and activatable effects. And the durability is how many times you can use a location's effect before it will disappear off of your board. So you can use this activatable effect for free. It doesn't cost any mana. You can use it as soon as you play the location. But after you use the effect of a location, it will be on cooldown for one turn. So we really want players to plan out their turns and plan out when they're going to get the most use out of these locations activatable abilities. Um, and locations, you're absolutely correct, are a wonderful way for us to show off settings in Hearthstone, uh, which is a really important part of our expansions. So team, I think it's important that we take this back to the scene of the crime at Castle Nathria, head back to the Vile Library and see what's lurking in the shadows. And I suspect that there might even be a shadow spell. I don't know, Cora, it's pretty dark in there. I think you are on the right track and I'll expand on it a little bit because when we were first ideating this set, it was really important to us that we had three things. Uh, one of them being locations, the second being suspects, of course, and the third being murder weapons or, or means of committing a crime. It can be difficult at times for us to do weapons across all 10 classes because we have spellcaster classes like warlock and mage and priest that don't attack with weapons really. Uh, and we just did weapons that didn't have attack with the profession tools in United and Stormwind. So we felt like it was a little bit too soon to do those types of weapons again. So what we came up with instead are a cycle of 10 spells called Covenant Spells. And this is perfect for the Shadowlands because uh, every class gets a Covenant spell aligned with the Covenant that they choose to be a part of when they're going through the Shadowlands campaign. So in this case, we have the Warlock class Covenant spell that is uh, aligned with the Venthyr Covenant in Revendreth, and this is Imp Ending Catastrophe. And yes, that is the actual name of the Warlock Covenant spell for the Venthyr Covenant, so it, it just felt too perfect. We had to go with it. Uh, and then, of course, with our Imp theme throughout the entire class, it just felt very fitting. And now, a victim! Bear witness to this poor, flustered librarian as she tries to contain the chaos within her beloved library. Oh, it really looks bad. Those imps, the more of them that come, the more attacks she gains as she tries to deal with how upsetting this situation is. There's something about that imp, uh, too. Uh, Cora, would you say it's a bit familiar? I would say that, Valerie, yeah. In fact, we actually created Mischievous Imp and Flustered Librarian in tandem, so we intentionally made their art pieces uh, to really play off of each other. So in the Mischievous Imp art piece, you see it setting fire to a robe, and the robe is intended to be the Flustered Librarians. And now you see all of these Mischievous Imps running amok in the Vile Library as she's trying to contain them, uh, but they are just too mischievous to contain. This is a murder mystery. We know where they done it, how they done it, but we still don't know who done it. And I really think that you guys should come up with a solid alibi here. I mean, this investigation is imp important. I mean, we can't skimp on the details. All right, so I don't need an alibi, because I just found this amazing clue. Hey, take a look at this red herring. This has got to be it, right, Edward? You're so right, Val. This is the missing piece to the whole puzzle of this murder mystery. Hold your breath. I think everybody's getting a little bit caught in the weeds here, right? Like, the suspect who's commanding this big group of imps needs to have some experience with leadership. You know, maybe they have, like, led a group before. And, and this is like a pretty big group of imps. It's like a like a party of imps. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a league of imps. It's gotta be Rafam. Oh, Rafam is here in Revendreth. We haven't seen him for quite a while. I guess the whole business with Galacron didn't work out too great, uh, did it? Um, we'd probably better not ask him for details, though. It's, uh, probably a pretty sore subject. Cora, do you know anything else about what kinds of 
dark and dastardly deeds uh, Rafam is getting up to here in Castle Nathria? Well, I know he is nothing without a group of followers. So uh, Rafam has come to Castle Nathria. He's got a new title before he was the Supreme Archaeologist. Now he is the Imp King, uh, and he has recruited a group of imps to strike mischief up in the Vile Library while he maybe digs around for some information that Tyre Denathrius is keeping hidden. Whatever his intentions are, they can't be good. Uh, and after a certain number of friendly minions die while he's in your hand, he will resummon those imps and he will give them a buff. So he's gonna keep that army coming and they're just gonna keep causing havoc. Great discovery, Cora. I think we really have a lead here with Rafam. But let's not forget that there's nine other suspects out there and we really need to take the time to investigate them all. And for you at home, if you want to join us on the investigation, make sure to follow us on all of our socials and check out playhearthstone.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.